Hello, my name is Slow Danger, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, we're going to play some more Motorsport Manager and our Aston Martin. Let's play. So, in the first race, we have got Sydney, which well, top speed, deceleration, and acceleration. Uh, low and low, but it's all good for us. Uh, so, just a little brief of how I'm going to take each session. So, Patrice, I'm not really going to show because. It's a little bit boring and it's somebody spending me half the time fidgeting with trying to set, make the car set up as perfect as possible. But I will be showing all the qualifying and all the race. So all the juicy parts of a typical Formula 1 race weekend. So, But before that, it's a bit annoying that we're still pink up there. But I have changed how our car looks so I'm guessing, say hello to the new Aston Martin racing car. It's, I know it looks like a little, it looks bad, but it's the closest thing which I could get to how the car looks to in real life. And uh, yeah, well, dying. I, I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, we're still third. That's all pretty good for us. So let's choose what we're going to pick. I normally, whenever I play in my own time, do that. I don't really never go for mediums, as I like to be quite an aggressive um, driver, person, manager. That's all pretty good in my eyes. So let's continue, and I guess... Yep, so let's press continue, and I guess I will see you at qualifying. So here we are at the qualifying session, and well, we, we did pretty well in, in the practice. Uh, Fatel was fourth, and Stroll was 10th. So we've got two cars in the top 10, which is really good for us. Unfortunately, we couldn't get level 3 quality trim, which is a little bit annoying, but it is... What it is. I mean, both car sets up look pretty good, both in the 90s, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, oh yeah, let's, let's dive in and take qualifying. The question is, do you think they could do it on very worn tyres? I mean, if they can, that's really good for us. And I never like doing these. I mean, it's there, and you see that's Fatel's the quicker of the two. Oh, caught up in traffic, lovely. Look at Fatel, is eight tenths quicker. I say we can do it actually. I'm really worn tyres. We've done that on worn tyres. That's just incredible. I don't think we need to we don't need to do enough of that. That's really good for us. That we know we can get through the next level or the next stage of qualifying on just one lap. I'm really happy about that. I think Hamilton is going to win the season. You see, he is in a Mercedes after all, in a super strong car. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy. And that went out. It's uh, my pan Schumacher, Hockenberg, Fern, Latifi, Kvyat. And Felix da Costa. So, yeah, interesting. Russell's up there as well. I mean, I'm on tyres and we're 1.2 seconds off the pace. That's good. Like, that's really good. So now I can do the. Do two tyres, two, two tyres, two pits. Two laps this time around. 
if we can get both cars into the top 10. And of course that will be even better. It's a bit annoying that it doesn't change the colour on the map. That was still pink, but I guess it, it makes it easy for us to see our drivers. That's about a lot from a straw. Still 1.2 seconds off the pace. I think Vettel will be okay. We're going to leave it to the very last minute to send the guys out. Yeah, Gasly has spun. Now, let's send them both out. I think Vettel would have been okay no matter what. But... It's just better to be better to do this safe. We're going to do it just to make sure that we cover our skins, really. There we go, straw dropped out. Straw is going quicker. Tenth from fifth. We've done it. Both cars in the top ten. Yes. That's what I like to see from our team and drivers. It's Alonso, Carlos Sainz Jr., Tsuna, Tsudo, Russell, Raikkonen, Ocon, and Giannazzi. I'm going to call him Yuki from now on. But that's to cover my skin. Until I actually learn how to pronounce his name correctly. How long have we got in this? Still 10 minutes. I mean, we could do what we did beforehand. Just go out on a set of scrubs and worn ties and won't come in and do up the proper lap. Which, of course, can we get out before? No, come on. That, that's a good window. Oh, Stroll, what are you playing at? It's like even on one ties, we're still quicker than a few. So I don't, I've never liked that for you. I've never liked that for you. You will. Hold on. <laughs> Get really impatient if you don't send them out. We are just about going to get in front. And hopefully get our clear lap in. That's a good couple of first sectors. Fourth place, and Botas gets a poultry. Botas gets a pole a position there. You know, a nice surprise. Is it a surprise? I, I won't say it's much of a surprise, but good for Botas. So the top three are Botas, Hamilton, and Verstappen. But we did a good lap there. If we can beat Pires, you did well for Tell. But we can, we, it's, a, it's a good platform to build on. Plus, we're getting extra income in. I want go, once again probably gonna go aggressive. We had a level ten percent on the super softs, so I may have considered doing the super softs. I'll keep it for that for now. So we have Botas, Hamilton, Verstappen, Vettel, Pires, Leclerc, Ricardo, Norris, Stroll, Gasly, Alonso, Carlos Sainz. 
Yuki Russell, Kimi Ocon, Giannazzi, um, Maspin, Schumacher, Hockenberg, Fern, Latifi, Kvyat, and Antonio Felix da Costa. Lines up the grid. And start racing now. Oh, poor start there from Farm Fratel. Dropping back all the way down to six. A fantastic start there from Leclerc. It's going to be the McLarens who we're racing against. What sides around the outside? Control, keep his place. I don't think he can. Once again, we're dropping pressure and heat in the tyres. But we've got the pace to uh, to keep up. I don't think the Ferrari has that pace. Anyway. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on, Fetter. Never take Paris. He's blocking us up. And it's at Leclerc. Yeah, that's Leclerc. We've got past science. But we're getting held up here. We've got passed by Ricardo on his home Grand Prix. That's not good news for us. I mean, you got me a well done for Leclerc, but he's just holding us all up. Oh, I thought he's got to go around the outside. We're getting caught by Norris here. There we go, a little mistake from the Red Bull. We now got we've now stayed in front of the Red Bull. I think Stroll's began to struggle. I'm kind of in no man's land at the moment. So we can get a top 10 finish with five points. But Fatel is right behind Ricardo. He's former teammate. And Ons has already pitted. And great dive in from Perez. Nah, that's annoying for us. Hope he can get Ricardo. Does he make contact? No, he has not Oh, we've got past Ricardo. How did that happen? Got distracted there for a few minutes. I don't care. It's been knowing that I can't see their tire well. It's just question marks. It's just really annoying. So they are pushing the engine. So I got one more turn out of Stroll, he's gonna push it. Do we do enough for if we do enough for let's do super soft and when finish the race on the ultras? I thought that's a good plan. Let's now begin pushing Fettel. Let's take up to speed 12. Now let's keep on speed 4. In comes Lance Stroll for his first pit stop off the race. A lovely stop there. 
I'll keep you on neutral. We have been jumped by Alonso. Oh, there's a problem. For, 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 we were, were we fighting for Stappen all this time? Let's push you a little higher. And then we get one more lap out of Vettel. Come on, get past your former teammate. No, we've got to pay him now. We could go to the end. <laughs> we can technically go to the end on oh, these tyres. Get past your teammate, your former teammate. There we go. I'm a little bit we are doing the earlier stops. But I know you're going to have to do two stop, but I know if it. Vettel should be able to finish off the race on this compound. Alonso's gone in. Come on, Vettel. <laughs> Use your Mercedes power to get past. Oh. Really great, but really annoying defending, which is, of course, massively slowing us down. I may have to do it. Oh, it's a bit of fool here. It's just that corner there. We just can't. There we go. Coming now into 10th place with Strong, but I can guarantee that we're not going to hold on to that 10th place. That's Gastly Scott Aspo and Verstappen. And Ricardo's had a problem. We do come out in front of Ricardo, that's good for us. Uh, does that have happened really with Stroll or Fettel? So now we're gonna go quick. Watch them all fly by. Yeah, Ricardo's. Like a bat out of hell, he has. So we are saving a lot of fool. And Fatel's been overtaken by the clerk. Okay. I mean, definitely on the streets, we're way more quicker. We got past Gasly. We're missing all the action here. Say so probably about a lap. Ricardo's had enough of issue. Very a great duel here between the two former teammates. Which means Verstappen's been able to catch up. And catch up pretty good. I may have to uh, be 
begin burning a little bit. I'm full now. Oh no! Fatal span! You did a personal lap time, but I'm going to bring you in now on a set of ultras. And hopefully, well, you should be okay until the end of the race. We span again. Is there a problem with Sebastian Vettel, or is this the old Sebastian Vettel, which I hate to see? Oh, and people are spinning left, right, and centre now. It's going to full overtake mode. I'd like to get a top five finish, that would be nice. That's okay, Stroll. I think you've got enough tyres to get to the end of the race. Well, it's this race which I'm more interested in. Let's see if he's got out of the way. I ran out on the points with Stroll. We've overtaken. We have overtaken. Whoa, let's hold you up. I thought we had enough tyres. Do we have the conservant to the very end? It's been lapped, so that's good for us. Just hold on, Straw. Hold on. That's a lap, that a lap car? That's a lap car between us. So we've got eighth. Eighth and fifth place in the first race of the season. Hamilton with the win with Botas and Pires. I mean, that was an exciting race. If only if a tail didn't spun, we could had potentially got in a fourth place finish, which would have been really nice. But hey, I'm happy. I'm happy. With the results, I mean, a fifth and the eighth. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm actually really happy. I try to get the bonus point with Stroll, but that's well. But alas, not. So let's continue. There we go. Now we are third place joint with Aston Martin, but because we got the higher finish, we are technically third place. So a very good start. I say our biggest rival, McLaren, with no points. But Ferrari as well. That's going to be interesting. And hopefully this is a good, I want to say a good um, foundation, a good building block to build the team on. So I'm actually really happy with how well we've actually um, performed, to be brutally honest. Let's look at their traits. We're happy. If Lawrence, Lawrence Stroll's happy, when I'm happy. The rolls drop down a lot. How so? But you got top 10. Why is morale dropped for you? You got a top 5 finish. I mean, that's juicy money coming in. That is juicy money. There's the other different other constructors. But yes, that was a very, very interesting race. And well, I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. Shame we couldn't fight for that podium. But 
that's Formula One for you. So let's just quickly go through our emails. Let's accept the interview. Sappen was hit by a launch stroll during the race. Do you have a message for the Canadian driver? It was a racing incident. I'm not complaining. I'm sorry, Max. Would love to have you in the team one day, but not right now. But yes, yeah, so that's our wrap for today's episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a like. Any comments would be appreciated if you're new around here and like the content which I make. Well, make sure to subscribe to get more daily content. Until next episode, I'll see you later.